It had been over 10 years since we had camped at the Halfway Lake Provincial Park, and now with our sleek Novacraft canoe, we were excited to do some more exploring in the numerous lakes in the surrounding area. We had spent the previous week at Grundy Lake Provincial Park with Dave's sister Kim and her husband John and enjoyed lots of paddling, hiking and other assorted shenanigans. We were all so happy to be able to connect with camping friends Steve and Diana now becoming an annual tradition, it seems. The drive from Grundy Lake to Halfway Lake is about two hours, and we have forgotten what a scenic drive it is. The granite rock formations along the side of the highway and the many lakes that dotted its sides were absolutely stunning. We settled into our campsite, and what a beautiful site it was. Site 69, right on the edge of Raven Lake. In our opinion, the best site in the entire campground. And a neat little uh, canoe access here, off the 144, and it's called El Bogey Lake. Nice little access. No fishing in this lake. That's okay. We're just paddling today. No fishing. All set, hon? All set? Okay, here we go. We paddled around Elboga Lake for about an hour, but unfortunately we couldn't find a flat spot along the lake's edge for a snack and a drink. The access was very easy to get to, and the put-in was trouble-free, so if you simply want to just paddle around and enjoy the scenery, it's a really nice way to spend an afternoon.
<laughs> Duck down. One forty four, right above us. Very nice. This is the other half of Halfway Lake. I think it's still considered Halfway Lake. This is the top end. Oh, it goes pretty far down there. So we're going to do some exploring. Find a space to sit for the afternoon. Maybe do a little bit of swimming. See how it goes. Nice little spot right there. These rocky little ledges. Oh yeah, the beach down the end there. See it? We're going to pull up here for a little bit, have a drink, maybe a bite to eat. Nice little sandy spot. We found another sandy beach on Halfway Lake here. So I think we may just stop and have a little beverage here. rocky face. We're at the very, very end of this stretch of the lake. This is more, those sand's more wet here. It does. I think there's like a little stream feeding it. Is that right? Hang out spot number two. This is the view of the little narrows down there. This is what Dave and I love to do. We love to go exploring and just find some nice little isolated spots where we can just hang out and chill, enjoy nature, enjoy our beautiful boat. She's a beaut boat. She's a beaut. You're talking gibberish. I am not. 
And there's our beautiful little doggy. And as you can tell, we've had a few beverages. But this is what it's all about. This is what we do. This, this is, is what we, we love. Yep. We always thought we had to do the overnight camping thing to get it. the full experience, but you don't, don't. You don't. As long as you can find beautiful lakes during the day, you don't need overnight. We have a beautiful, beautiful trailer that we like to enjoy and sleep in at night. Good, Kranji. Uh-oh, Kranji's on the move. Kranji wants to go. Just packing up. Right. Ooh, getting ready to head back. Just drinking. Amazing day in Halfway Lake. Oh, look at the rock. Look at those trees. The lake is definitely prettier. Actually, pretty good. They are. They are. Yeah. We'll take it. This is a very cool rock. And then right across, another cool rock. Okay. You gonna paddle hard, honey? Get over it. Come on, you can do it, you can do it. You just need to get a little speed on that one. All right. Actually, really quite neat. Echo! <laughs> ok, 
Add all the stupid graffiti. So beautiful. This is the very top of Anaping uh, High Falls, it's called. And here, see, I made it to the bridge. So let's just see what this looks like. a thing here. There are these locks. I'm not sure what the significance is, but it's kind of interesting. I'll have to Google that. There's a lookout way, way up there. And there's the highway. Finally, success. Oh, I got off. Okay, so this is the first for us to portage over the train tracks. Now, a big long train went by about half hour ago. lake that we were in and we stayed with all our stuff. And look at this beauty. It's beautiful. Unfortunately we know people have been here because look at all the garbage they left behind. We mistakenly thought that there was a uh, tunnel or some way to get through here, but guess not. It's over, not under. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful lake. We were just scratching the surface of it. Don't get your feet stuck. <laughs> Shaky. This is kind of neat. I never mean, expected this. Nope. Not at all. This is quite, quite the adventure. Quite the adventure. Drink time. Drink time. Okay. Did you get me?
There goes the train. Whew, that was a big one. Good timing on our part. Can you imagine if we had half the stuff on one side and the half on the other? That would have been amazing. No, it wouldn't. <laughs> no fun. There's adventure and then there's adventure. That's adventure. That's a big long one too. We are getting ready to embark on our halfway lake portage into uh, Bailey Lake. We've got a 315 meter portage, so we're traveling. Pretty light today, that's it. That's it. There's Jakey, anxious to get going. And this is the way we're going to paddle. Gonna to stick to the uh, left shoreline there, out beyond that island. A little bit farther down is a portage. So um, yeah, we're going to uncharted territory today. We'll see where it goes. But it's gonna be a beautiful day. The winds are just light and variable, and lots of sunshine. Probably one of the warmer days we've had since we've been up here. It's in the gonna be in the mid to high 70s today. So. We're looking forward to the day. We'll see what it brings us. Oh, we're gonna have to boogie it over to the other side. Yeah. Rocky at 12 o'clock, I just saw it. So we can go out there. I mean, just keep paddling. Where's this portage? I don't know, I see an entrance over there. We are looking for the portage trail. This is the back end of Grundy Lake. I mean, check that. Back end halfway lakes. Going south. And we're looking for Portage Trail so we can get to Bailey Lake. I don't know if it's marked pretty good, but we shall find it. Well, it can't be over here because we could climb up these big mountains and we're not doing that. Huh. Yeah, I see it, I see it. Found the portage. We're at our portage here. Somebody's got some little canoe electric uh, motors tied up here. They've probably uh, tied them up and now they've uh, portaged into the backcountry because the backcountry sites are in the next lake where we're heading. There's my wife. 
I'll ready to portage. Just get everything on there but the kitchen sink. I think I, I think I'm carrying a heavier load than Dave, but anyway. And I just gotta. It's not as awkward. It's not as awkward. Not as awkward. Well, we just made it to the portage, and we're on what's the lake? Ooh. Bailey Lake. It was a really, it was pretty easy portage. A couple of hairy parts. Don't listen to her. But other than that, it was, it was a pretty good portage. And it's 11:48, right on schedule. This is Bailey Lake. Took us 45 minutes from the putting at the If we have to, we have to. So let's just see first. That'd be cool if we could climb up there. See, if we climb up there, we're good to go. Blueberries. Oh, look at them. We're having blueberries for dessert. Oh, we found our spot.
at hangout spot number two. This is just across from the island where we just were. So that's one backcountry site there. And I believe, I'll get my binocs out in a minute, but I think the other one is right out there. Although, I do see what looks like a fire pit there, but it just could be a... Oh no, there is a backcountry site. Is it? You see the red. Oh, tree, I too. see it. I see it. Yep. We should check that one out on our way back. I think we might be seeing it. Oh, we'll see. We'll have a look. And that's where we came from. bugs away. There you go. Now you can sit and enjoy your beer. Hi Jakey. What are you doing? Yeah, it does. Okay, don't paddle. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna go sideways. Watch that rock over there. We found a nice little spot to have a drink on. Heading out, Jakey had a little bit of a bath. This cute little 
This little outcropping here. Not quite an island. I don't think it's an island. It's been a lovely spot. We're gonna head up that way. Now we're gonna go over there. There's a campsite over there. We're going to check it out and see if anybody's camping on there. Right. Right over there. Any tent? I don't see anything. Okay, let's go check it out. Come on. Obviously, I'm not going to film that. These weird big bees here. They're not black flies, they're not biting things, but they're terribly annoying. Greater judgment, I will go skinny dipping with you. There's nobody around here. I'm not worried about that. There's not my towel. Actually, a pretty cool sight. I'd stay here for the night. What do you think about this site? It's okay. I wouldn't drive six hours to just cast and stay on the site for three days. But if you're in the area, or even if you're camping halfway lake, it's good enough to go for overnight, maybe two nights at the most. That's about it. Especially if you're tenting. Yeah, if you're tenting. And the thing is, it's really peace and quiet here, unlike other lakes. Yeah. So you're basically all by yourself. You got only got one site right over there. Yeah. But basically, when you're out here, you're all by yourself. Yeah, you're not you're not hearing the kids on the on the like at Grundy where you know you can hear them at the yeah. uh, poplar uh, campground and it's very, it's, yeah. the beach there. Yeah. It's a true backcountry site. I mean, it, it, it's got good flat spots. It's yeah. got a. Yeah, it's got a nice fire pit, it's got a nice grill. There's a nice flat spot for a tent. Yeah, there's a uh, there is a, uh, a thunder box back there. A privy, whatever you want to call it. And your closest neighbor is like right over there. Yeah. For us to come and explore in the daytime, spend our entire day out here, yep. and then go back to our campsite yep. where we have a nice trailer with ooh, a nice the only thing, trailer. The only, the only thing that we're missing what? is sleeping in the tent. We have a campfire when we get back. Yeah. We got a lake right in front of us. Yep. Why would you want to come back here for a night? Just to sleep in a tent. Yeah, I agree. I agree. We can enjoy this in the daytime.
Yama, Hama. Honey, <laughs> we get the damn canoe. Oh, God. Oh, my God. You know what the good thing about it? I got it all on the film. Which way? Are you sure this is it? We spent our last day back at Halfway Lake on the east side of Highway 144 again, just chilling and reflecting back on all of our adventures in the past week. Halfway Lake did not disappoint, and we highly recommend this park and campground. And if you can score a lakefront site like we did, that is definitely a bonus. Thanks for watching, and hope to see you on our next adventure.